Hi world, it's uh, Wednesday the 30th of March 2022. I'm about to do a live broadcast in a couple of hours on YouTube with uh, How to Rock a Campfire, Dustin Cormier, a Canadian astrologer, that should be fun. Uh, you can find all the links and everything in yesterday's video. This video is about what's coming up in April 2022 from my astrological perspective. There's a number of things going on. I've just done a set of videos for another video channel for each individual sun sign. And that's given me a sort of broad perspective on what's coming up in this month and who's being affected and who's not. And it's also made me focus particularly on, on specific times. And, and this month, it seems fairly clear in the, in the kind of schedule for what's coming up. We start April, on the 1st of April, with a new moon. The new moon in Aries at uh, 11 and a half degrees of Aries. This will happen on Friday the 1st of April around 7.25 a.m. UK time. Now this will be conjunct Mercury. The sun and moon and Mercury will all be in Aries. Hell of a way to start April. But the aspects to this new moon are not challenging. There's, there's no sign of negativity to this or positivity. It's a neutral new moon. And I have to say, it's, it's, it's there's minor cause for hope with this. Interestingly enough, these are the only three planets in Aries, well, along with Chiron, and all four of them, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Chiron, are all going to be conjunct at the start of April, suggesting that there may well be words, the basic words spoken that will bring an end to conflict and will act as the roots and foundations for agreements to come. Let's hope so. It's interesting to note that next month in May, Jupiter and Venus and Mars will all move into Aries. So that's going to be a whole fresh start in a lot of different ways. But that's next month. We can deal with that another time. As we get into the first week of April, there is Mars in the sky in Aquarius conjunct Saturn. This will happen on the 4th and 5th of April. The two most uncompromising, warlike, resistant change planets. And it suggests to me that in the context of what's happening in Eastern Europe, that there's going to be one last big military onslaught. Things could get quite nasty in the very short term. With Mars conjunct Saturn, there's going to be an energy of potential for conflict in, in a large number of different situations and environments globally, whether it's personal or whether it's collective or whether it's national. But with Mars conjunct Saturn, there's going to be a lot of um, ruthless attitudes in the first week of the month. This is then followed by the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces, and the more we get to it, I find myself increasingly ambivalent. I did three videos on this last week. And um, I can't help but see the positives in this, but also the, the potential for things to get out of hand and to go over the top. This is immediately followed on the 16th of April by a full moon in Libra that is going to be squaring Pluto by two degrees, strong enough to make a significant impact. And I suggest that um, after this new moon in, in Aries at the start of the month, when the words start happening, and hopefully the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction will bring some type of resolution to the conflict in Eastern Europe, then I suggest there'll be one last, I'm not gonna use, no, it's not like a knife in the ribs, it's more like a sting in the tail, around that full moon, square Pluto, which will be quite subversive and underhand and probably unattributable. After which, things change. By this time, by the 16th, both Venus and Mars have left Aquarius and moved into Pisces. Yes, there's an eclipse of the sun, a minor partial eclipse of the sun on the 30th of April at the once every year Taurus new moon. But again, this isn't, it's very weakly conjunct Uranus, but I don't see it as a major challenge. And I, I, I really get the impression astrologically that the more we get into the second half of the month, 
it seems as if the tempo and the immediacy and the urgency of the month really dies down. And I, I'm pinning my colours to the wall here, but I think that we're going to see an end to the armed conflict in some shape or form by the time we're into the middle of this month, certainly by the third week of this month, and that's that. Well, it's not that's that. Then the uh, decade-long rebuilding and the reintegration of different countries back into the global community will happen. Now, Russia's changed its tune a lot in the last few weeks, in the last week. And there's bound to be some element of discontent amongst various levels of the Russian elite with the way this operation has not worked out the way they anticipated or expected. And there's a lot of dissent at the, at the lower level. Now, I'm only reacting to Western news information. I'm not getting a balanced perspective here, so you've got to bear that in mind. But it would not surprise me if there was a, quite a level of, of, of very strong discontent amongst high levels of Russian officialdom with the way this has developed in recent weeks and months. And as a result, certain individuals at the very top of the game are going to be held accountable. I note that Saturn in the sky is about literally in this next one or two weeks about to pass opposite both Pluto and the midheaven of Vladimir Putin. And this is the start of a nine month period where he will either be removed from office and possibly more, or he will consolidate his power in a way that we haven't even begun to see yet. One of the two. Saturn doesn't deal in compromises. I am, this month is not looking too bad. I mean, Uranus is finishing its transit all those people who have been hit by uranus in this last year is finishing this month next month uranus begins a whole year long new cycle again neptune is now entering fresh ground pluto stands still starts going retrograde at the end of april jupiter will be pushing towards the end of pisces it will leave pisces and move into aries in early may there's so much evidence here of fresh starts, of new beginnings, of new cycles as we get into late April and early May that I can't help retain a degree of optimism about what's to come. It's just in the next few weeks. The next two, possibly three weeks. The Mars conjunct Saturn in this next few days. Jupiter conjunct Neptune in 12, 13 days time. And then that dodgy full moon square Pluto on the 16th. But after that, yeah, not looking too bad. So let's hope, let's hope because we all need a break. We're never gonna go back to normal, but we really need to stop killing each other and release some of the hatred that's going on around the world. And Jupiter conjunct Neptune and Pisces hopefully will bring a lot more compassion in. Okay, on that note, I'll, I'll crack on and um, catch you in the next day or two. Bye now.